This is Jeffrey Frankel with Solutions in Chemistry. Today I'm going to show you how to deal with the topic of uncertainty in measurement and calculation in paper one of the IB chemistry paper. You can do these questions in less than 30 seconds. In this case the examiner is asking you, do you understand what this means? Plus or minus 0 0.01. And the answer is there must be two decimal places there. Two decimal places. The only one that fits is this. 10.20. Uh, that doesn't have enough decimal places. That doesn't have any decimal places. That has too many decimal places. That, that is the best record of the mass. 10.20. And you might well write it. 10.20 plus or minus 0.01. And that's simply because you are saying the final result is somewhere between 10.19 to 10.21. And, and you can see in this way that it wouldn't make sense to give the answer like that. And it wouldn't make sense to give the answer like that or like that. You have to have the same number of decimal places in the number and in the accuracy. When you're doing a calculation which involves a multiplication or a division, then the number with the least number of significant figures determines the number of significant figures in the answer. So if you look through this, uh, that's got a lot of significant figures, a lot of significant figures. Here you've only got one, two, three significant figures, therefore you look through for th here for three significant figures and that's the answer. It can only be 10.5. You don't have to do the calculation. So <laughs> do not do the calculation. It's not worth it. Just determine which of these is the correct answer. This can only be the correct answer because it has three significant figures and that has three significant figures. And this is for multiplication and division and the density implies that you've done a division you divided the mass by the volume so multiplication and division you look for minimum number of significant figures and that tells you the answer when a question seems to be leading you to do a calculation think carefully if this is paper one because in paper one, you don't have much time. And sometimes, as in this case, you may find just looking at the answers and eliminating those ones that don't make sense. Now, if you look at these numbers, you can see that this doesn't make sense. You've got to have the same number of decimals there as there. So you can forget that number. Look at this one. Again, you've got to have the same number of decimals there as there. Forget that. And look at this. You've got to have the same decimal numbers there as there. Forget that. So the answer is that, because this has 4.0 plus or minus 0 0.8. That's the correct way of writing a number. In less than 10 seconds, you can do this one just by looking at the answers and seeing which ones don't make sets and then eliminating them. However, let me do the calculation so that if you do decide to do the calculation or you need to do the calculation in paper two, just let me show you how you do it. This is a division and you're dividing the mass by the volume. The first thing is to do the calculation of that divided by that. So it's 0 0.2 divided by 0 0.050, and that equals 4. Now I'm going to leave it as 4. I'm not going to put the decimal point in or any of the zeros, because I don't know how many zeros there are going to be at the moment. Then we take the accuracy numbers, plus or minus 0 0.02 and plus or minus 0 0.05. When you're doing a calculation that involves a division or a multiplication, then you look at the percentage of that 
to that at point zero two divided by zero point two, and that equals ten percent or one over ten, whichever way you want to look at it. Go over to here, and it's zero point zero zero five over zero point zero five, and that equals ten percent as well. So they're both the same. You add those two figures up. and you get 20%. The error is plus or minus 20%. And the way to look at it is you take the 4, you multiply by 20%, and that equals 0 0.8. So the error is, as I said before, is plus or minus 20%. The error is plus or minus 0 0.8. So you do 4 plus or minus 0 0.8, then you decide how many decimal places. Well, there's only one there, so 4.0. That is the answer. That is the answer. Let me summarize what I've said. First, check whether you can eliminate incorrect answers with these kind of questions. Second, you do the calculation. If it's a division or a multiplication, you do the calculation, which is that one. Then you look at the accuracies, the plus or minus numbers, as a percentage of the number, 0 0.02 over 0.2. I'll do that. Then you add the two percentages up, and then you multiply the answer by that figure, and that gives you the accuracy in absolute terms, 0 0.8. And then you put it by the answer, and you make sure that the number of decimals are the same in each of the two numbers. And in this question, the examiner is saying, do you understand what is meant by this? And the answer is, you do understand, because it means 27.65 to 27.65. In other words, the, the actual value is somewhere between the two. So we look at this. Yes, that is between the two. That is not between the two. That is between the two. So one and three, one and three is B. Another question that can be done within 10 seconds. Take advantage of these questions that can be done within 10 seconds. Another question which has a lot of words in it, and maybe when the reading of it you get a little bit confused. However, if you look at it and see that the beaker has this value from its mass, and the second beaker has this value for its mass, so you're looking at a final answer when you add this to the mass of the metal, or you add this to the mass of the metal. The final answer cannot be more accurate than that. And you go through those, and it must be this one. 19.0 plus minus 0 0.2, 19.0 plus minus 0 0.1. Um, it can't be that one, because that's the wrong way of writing it. You can't do 19.0 and 0 0.00. 0. You'd have to have 0, 0 there. And the same for here. Uh, so that would be, that. <laughs> those two would have to be crossed off to get the number in the format it should be. This is also wrong. That should have uh, 0, 0 there to make that a sensible number. This again is also wrong. You cross those two off to make it a sensible number. Uh, and this can't be right, even though the numbers are in the correct format. The numbers are in the correct format. It can't be right because we've agreed that each of them has a beaker which is weighed to just one decimal point. One decimal point. And therefore, D is the answer. Now let me go through the actual calculation, you're not expected to do the calculation, you just look through these and see 
which numbers don't make sense and which numbers do make sense. But let's look at uh, student A. He weighs uh, balance at 4, 0 0.0, plus or minus 0 0.1, and 15.0, plus or minus 0 0.1. You add those two together and you get 19.0, and you add those two together, plus or minus 0 0.2. When you're doing a, a, an addition or a subtraction, you add the actual accuracies. So the answer is 19.0 plus or minus 0 0.2. That's for student A. Let's look at student B. Uh, he's got 15.0 plus or minus 0 0.1, and he has this 4.000 plus or minus 0 0.001. You add those two together, and you get 19. Point. You can't include these. You can only go to that one. So it's 19.0 plus or minus Ah, you see, this is too small, therefore you just take that one, you forget that one, so it's plus minus 0 0.1, and there you go. And that comes to D. So if you did the calculation, you'd get D. But you didn't have to, you just eliminate those numbers that don't make sense. Those of you who are a little puzzled as to why student A has an accuracy of plus or minus 0 0.2, while student B has an accuracy of plus or minus 0 0.1. The reason is that student A did the weight of both of them to accurate 0 0.1 and 0 0.1. Therefore, the two errors are added. And in this case, one of them is a significantly smaller error, and even if you added it, it becomes 0 0.1 and 0 0.1, which is 0 0.1. And that's the reason this is, this was measured to a much higher degree of accuracy, and therefore this accuracy, this error figure, is the only one that stays in the answer. In doing this type of calculation, there are two things you need to remember. First is that the number that has the lowest accuracy, in which case it's 5.0 plus or minus 0 0.5, is the number that determines the answer. Okay, so from that, you could immediately look at these, and you could probably say that must be the answer, because uh, it's the same number of decimals in that number and that number, and that is 10% of that, and that is 10% of that. Uh, no further calculation is needed. How did you get there, and how do you make sure you eliminate this one? That can't be correct, because it's much too accurate. This one, it's a mixed, uh, you can't have 2.000 plus or minus 0.2 those two would be wrong. So that number is out. However, let's see how you do this, if you had to do this and you weren't given the answers. First of all, you divide the 10 by 5 and you get 2. I'm not going to put the decimal point or the zeros in for the moment. And now we're going to calculate the error value based on this. And the reason I base it on this is that this is clearly significantly more accurate than that. That error value is significantly smaller than that number, so we can ignore that, and we can simply say that this is 10% of that. Now, the reason I'm using a percentage is simply because we are doing a division. If you do a division or a multiplication, you use a percentage of the of error divided by the number, in which case it's 0.5 divided by 5.0, which equals either 10% or uh, one tenth or 0.1, whichever way you want to look at it. So we've got this. Just to be clear, we're using percentage because we're doing a division, or if it's a multiplication. If 
we were using an addition or a subtraction, we would use the absolute value of this. But as I said, we're using division. We're, we're doing a division, therefore we're using 10%. 10% of that is 0.2. 10% of the 2 is 0.2. Therefore, there's one decimal point there, therefore one decimal point there. So the answer is 2 plus or minus 0 0.2. 2 plus or minus 0 0.2. And as I said, you could have got that answer immediately, just seconds after looking at the question, based on the fact and that that is 10% of that. So that gives you this. And this is the way of calculating it. You've not given the answer. If you found this YouTube video helpful, Please subscribe to my channel and look at my other videos. Thank you.